Welcome at the last day session of this conference. Um, I hope that everybody's enjoyed it so far. Uh, and Jacques and uh, the whole Stellenbosch crew had a good evening last night, so I hope they're all here. Uh, just a few things, uh, household. We need the paper ratings in urgently. There is a presentation at the end of the day for the best student presentation and the best non-student presentation. Um, what we need to do is to get everything in by lunchtime today and then for the session after lunchtime we need it at the coffee break at the end of the day to give the ladies a chance to make the final arrangements. We will then have at the end of the day, the presentation uh, from VUT for the best papers in the two categories. The last session will, after the last session, there will be a short coffee break, and then we'll be herding the cats in, and then we will present uh, uh, the prizes. And the workshop on reinvention of engineering education has been cancelled. So whoever was planning to go there, you've got a free session. So allow me to, to introduce our next speaker. Um, I think uh, Beatrice has come a long way and she's very anxious to start talking to us. Uh, a little background, uh, Beatrice has an industrial engineering qualification from the ECC University at Cali. She tells me that Cali is the best city in, in Colombia, which I will have to leave her until we get there again. She also holds a master's degree from UNED in Spain in social networks and digital learning, so perhaps we can learn something from that. Her professional experience is in logistics and supply chain and quality insurance. She is presently the Dean of the Faculty of Industrial Engineering the University of Santa Tomar in Bogota. Welcome. Okay, so good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and the singing guild. Welcome to our 28th Southern American Institute for Industrial Engineering. It's a pleasure to be with you today and present our research or trend of industrial engineering in Colombia. This presentation will focus on three main themes. The first, the panorama of engineering in Colombia. The second, an analysis of graduate profile and central topics in curriculum in industrial engineering specifically. And the third, discuss result of investigation we have carried out with a research group in organizational process on the Industrial Engineering Program in Santo Tomas University. This part will focus in industrial engineering trends in Colombia. All the three sessions that you can see will respond to the following hypothesis. Does university research in Colombia respond to the needs of industry? With this presentation, I hope that you will leave with a general idea of the state of engineering in Colombia, of the research we are currently undertaking, and of the possible strategic alliances we can build between Colombia and South Africa. So we are going starting with panorama of engineering in Colombia. Okay, so. Um, in Colombia, each year we hold an international meeting on education in engineering, sponsored by ACOFI. ACOFI in Colombia is Colombian Association of Engineering Faculties. This meeting seeks to bring together the academy engineering community in order to discuss topics of interest in engineering on international scale. This year, 2000. 17, the principal topic was engineering faculties and their engagement in society. The conference was held in Cartagena, Colombia, 
from 26 to 29 September. In this meeting, the director who promotes higher education, Victor Alejandro Venegas, gave a speech entitled Panorama of Engineering in Colombia. And Dr. Venegas represents the Ministry of Education in Colombia. The following slides are based on his presentation in which he gave a general overview of the state in engineering in Colombia. So it's just that you want to go to Colombia and IE, IE is then every year on, on September is, go, is, is going to place in Cartagena. It's one of the most beautiful cities in Colombia. You are really welcome to go there this year. So in, in this case, in 2017, this year, Mr. Venegas, um, the, it was, was doing a, his presentation about panorama of engineering in Colombia. And the first point I wish to emphasize is innovation. Innovation as a motor for economic growth, which increasing depends on knowledge. Thanks to innovation, universities are able to improve their QS ranking, uh, for example, how you see in the slides. United States has 157 universities in the QS. QS is the World University Rankings. U uh, United Kingdom, 76. Germany has 45. Australia has 30, 37. And in Colombia, we had 10 universities in the QS. And one of the us is Andes and Esternado and also Javeriana could be in that, in, in that ranking. Additional, I wish to outline three global trends in higher education on engineering. Innovation, multidisciplinarity, and internationalization. For innovation, today the term innovation can be understood in various ways. For this reason, different curriculum emphasize crea creativity, product design, manufacturing, and focus on the social impact with this aspect we have and how they relate to social needs. Therefore, I encourage you to think of innovation, not just of the creation of new technologies, but as the relationship between these new technologies and the social need to which they respond. Multidisciplinarity, creation and converging discipline with priority work, and about internationalization, development students who have the capacity to excel the different contexts as universities that work in networks. Colombian universities are committed to creating new agreements with foreign universities. We allow students to have new international experience and allow professors to exchange knowledge. That's the reason how uh, our university, uni uh, Santo Tomas University, has that kind of agreements. is 140 agreements with different countries. So we are waiting for South Africa, to be in this list. So we also have other international and national cooperation like this. So you can be part of this kind of cooperation too if we are going to start a, so international agreement. We also had a, this international office uh, that called ORI. And we had this kind of uh, the the emails and the contents. Mr. Um, Hans Dieter Seltes is our director from ORI office. So to continue, I will focus on innovation and multidisciplinarity. For the Colombian Ministry of Education, innovation can be included in the curriculum with the creation of no traditional engineering program, such as mathematical engineering, urban engineering, um, biotechnology, biotechnological engineering. Also for multidisciplinarity, can also be incorporated into the curriculum through program which com combine different types of models, for example, administrative, 
engineering, sounds engineering, and mechatronic engineering. So now I will explain some figures related to the advance that we had made in engineering in Colombia out 216, which I hope will clarify for you the current state of engineering in Colombia. So we have 2,461 academic program in engineering, 41% in universities and 32% in professional or technical programs, 27 in specialization and master and doctorates, 207 institutes of higher education offer academic programs in engineering, and 633,096 matriculated students in engineering in 2016. That representing 26.4% of the total number of matriculated students. Also, we have 289 programs, academic programs, which have been accredited as high quality in Colombia. Following off from the figures shown of the previous slide, I will now focus on matriculation in engineering by education level. So can, how can you see we have 57% university student and we just have 3.2% of specialization, master and doctorates. And nearly 70% of matriculated students are located in Bogota, Antioquia, Valle del Cauca, Atlántico, Santander, Bolívar, and Norte del Santander. They are the principal department in Colombia. So, Santo Tomás University has present in all of the main of this located in Bogota. And Santo Tomás has branches in Bucaramanga, Tunja, Medellín, and Villavicencio. So, also, Santo Tomás University that's called USTA University. It's one of the pioneer universities in offer programs at a distance with stereo university service center. This is some kind of some fact that you can you can read also we are Catholic, no profile private institutions. So also more than 130 international agreements, around 29 thousand students, so we are the first university in Colombia. We have 437 years for creating, so we are the, the first university then. And they are some kind of buildings around Bogota City. Uh, we have this kind of programs, like you can see in the slide, about engineering. We have three different, six different engineering programs like civil, electronical, environmental, in, industrial, mechanical, and telecommunications. Other important uh, figures which I, was, I wish to discuss are related to dropout, race, and employability. So in the last two years, we have seen a reduction in the percentage of students who drop out of higher education as follows. 1% at uh, university level and um, 5% in technical or technological programs. This means that uh, 4,008 4, students have finished their higher education in engineering. So with regards to employability, engineering has one of the best real graduates in Colombia. 81.82% of graduates from university program and 73% from vocational program find words relating to their file. That is really good for us, for engineering in Colombia. So also for employability, engineering graduates are 2% more likely to find work in their file compared to other areas of study. And their salary, their starting salary is 
5.35% higher than the national average in Colombia. So we are really good ranking for engineering. So the uh, conclusion are investing in education and research stimulate economic development and improve the competitivity of the country. Today, engineering and engineers carry out a role unlike any in the past to stimulate economic growth and provide solutions to social problems. Innovation is fundamental to the global economy, and engineering allows for the consolidation of techno-scientific systems due to the design and manufacture of artifacts will provide the possibility of rapid social advance. Now, having examined a general panorama of state of engineering in Colombia, I will continue with a focus industrial engineering in particular. That is our interesting, right? Industrial engineering. So, for this, in order to do this, I will present an analysis of graduate profile of central teams in industrial engineering curriculums in Bogota. This analysis is the result, result of the capture of a book by Redin. Redin is the network of industrial engineering in Colombia, and which is based in Bogota. This network is part of ACOFI, and ACOFI is the Colombian Association of Engineering Faculties. I will extend the order of this chapter for this permission to use their analysis in my presentation today. The analysis which I will now present is based in three sources. The concentration of academic credit in each area of industrial engineering training classified according to curriculums. The second, analysis of the contents of professional graduate profiles published on the website of academic program on higher education institutes which offer industrial engineering. An analysis of interviews conducted with industrial engineering program director in Bogota. So for that, we use different kinds of methodology. For the first one, academic credit. The first source, the concentration of academic credit, use the following methodology. Examine the curriculum on industrial engineering program in Bogota. The subject of each curriculum were classified in order to calculate the percentage of credit with respect to the total number of credit in the curriculum. And subsequently, an average was taken of the percentage in each area. Finally, we get some kind of subject that I will going to show you later. The second source, analysis of graduate profile, use the frequently listed technique. We require counting the words relating to each area of knowledge in professional profiles. The researchers then examine the website of 32 higher education institute with offer his program and the time during which the data was collected. And the third source interviews which program director use the following methodology. The researchers have carried out semi-structured interviews with 17 of the 35 directors in, that we have in Colombia, in Bogota. The interviews were then processed using the soft, software package Atlas TI-I that obtained categories for analysis on things relating to industrial engineering education. So we get some kind of result. According to the applied methodologies, which I have just outlined, the following, following results were obtained from each of the three sources. So the first source is based of the examination on distribution of academic credit in different industrial engineer curriculums in Bogota, 
we found that 31% of academic credits are focused in pro production and operation, 14 in economic and financial engineering, 9% in quality environment, environmental, industrial, safety, and occupational health, and corporate social responsibility, and 5% in logistic, how you can see, and 3% in technology, technology manager and innovation. The ABAO allows us to identify those areas which are more relevant with a significant concentration. So we have 62% in production, financing, and 81% in areas as personal manager and general information. The result, of, the result of analysis of professional graduate profile as published on the website, so we are going to talk about graduate profiles, an industrial engineering program in Bogotá indicate that 33% on the terms with Fisha in the above mentioned profile relating to manager following by production and operation, and economic and financial and engineer, like see the table on the slide. So based on interview carries out with director of industrial engineer program in Bogotá, and especially on questions related to the principal areas of knowledge with industrial engineering, should demonstrate that we collect the results gathered from the people interviewed. With our like 22 areas, we they consider to be those that correspond to the profile of industrial engineer. Subsequently, we group the related terms according for, to the criteria of the others, resulting in 12 general areas which can be observed. Our conclusion are, based on the comparison of the results gathered from the three sources as outlined in the methodology, so academic credits, graduate, graduate profiles, and interviews, is was found that the two educational areas with considering appear in the first five topics of each source and which we can consequently infer, constitute the central body of the discipline are production and operation and quality control manager. And the third, four, and five place were economics and financial engineering, administration and organization, and logistics respectively. So we, we use this kind of bibliography, and they are was the actor from Redin, from a coffee. So now our third point for the speech is main issues of research in industrial engineering. That this was our investigation. So finally, I will discuss the result of the investigation we have carried out with the research group in organizational process of industrial engineer program in the Santo Tomas University. This part will focus on industrial engineering trends in Colombia and we respond to the following hypothesis. Does university research in Colombia respond to the needs of industry? This study seeks to identify and categorize the different research topics currently being investigated by groups. Based on the line of research and using the information reported in Colciencias. Colciencias is academic department for science, technology, and innovation as a primary source. We collect data of 102 research groups and classify the according to the Colciencias classification of quality, the result of which can be seen in the graph. Colciencias, remember that is Academic Department of Science, Technology of Innovation in Colombia, use different criteria to classify research groups, including type of researches, quality of products, age of group, number of academic publication. 
International Movements or Resources. A1 is the higher ranking, and C is the lowest. We also have a category of group which are recognized, which are those group which are still being construction and have not yet contributed to the fire. So there, there is our group from University Santo Tomas. So we have different kinds of groups, seven groups in a category, and 101 total group in the university for research. An analysis of the name of the research group was carried out using a software package in order to better understand the principal interests of university research group. We use the test meaning using Boyal tools. That was the software that we, we used to do this. As we can see in the infographic, the most common terms are management, productivity, production, development, and innovation. Having discovered the key topics of university research group, we then elicited the principal relationship between the most common terms, as you can see in the infography. Following on from the names of the, re of the research group, I will now discuss the line, their line of research. I wish to emphasize that a research group may have one of the several lines of research depending on the research interest of the engineering program. A line of research is a focus encompassing knowledge, concern, practice, and perspective of analysis, which allows for the development of projects and products, construction in a systematic manner based around a study topic. To analyze the lines of research, we develop the following methodology. First, we identify all of the industrial engineer research group. We collected the information, line of research. We analyzed keywords and themes. We define the categories of the line of research, and we carry out a descriptive analysis. Categorization of line of research and results. Based on the methodology I have just outlined, I wish to emphasize the categorization we, we developed from our analysis. As you can see in the graph, a quantity analysis was carried out with found, for example, that production and operation manager is the category which is most studied by the groups, with a total of 44%. It was also found the project management was only investigated by 7% of the groups. With this information collected about the research groups and their main interests, I now wish to compare this analysis with the business needs according around industrial engineering in Colombia. The objective of this part of the study was to identify the principal needs of business when the requests are industrial engineer. In order to achieve this, we developed the following methodology. We collect job offer from the principal networking website in Colombia. After then, we take a sample from May to September in to this year, and we carry out a descriptive analysis. We work with a total of 2,557 job offer. Here you can see the result of our study based on the methodology described. The main sectors in which industrial engineers are required are services, finances, and constructions. The number of jobs offered for industrial engineering in the services sector exceeded 500 during the period of study. The sector in which the few industrial engineers are required are retail and alcohol and tobacco. Another set of results with this study give was the main responsibilities of industrial engineering in Colombia. 
The graph shows the biggest percentage, 22% of the job offer for industrial engineering require work in administration and financial areas, followed by sales and telemarketing. However, the industrial engineer curriculum and research group in university mainly focus on production, logistic, and distribution. In the graph, these two areas combine total approximately 6%. So, I'm going to say some kind of conclusion uh, for this, uh, this research that is not in the slide. So, but the conclusion are, do business really know the qualities of industrial engineering or do they just need administrative support? So we, we, uh, we have to ask about that. This question emerged from the result of the study in the main responsibilities of industrial engineering. Is we resolve that 22% of the job offer are focusing administrative and financing. So, these areas, administration and financing, don't constitute the core of the discipline as we understand in the universities. They lead us, a program director and teachers, to reflect on how we are presenting industrial engineering to the business world. The second question to discuss today with you is, an increasing number of industrial engineering are moving into the service sector. We're raising the question, are universities investigating how to develop and transfer knowledge into the sector? According to the result of our study into the principal business sector with required industrial engineering, we thought that more than 500 jobs offered were in service sector. The figure demonstrates that the service sector requires professionals for its activities. However, it's not in line with the mentally of many industrial engineers who see the head of the discipline manufacturing. The curriculum and student profile of industrial engineering also emphasize manufacturing as the core of the discipline. With further way there's the gap between industrial engineering and understood by academic and niche business. To one extent are the investigation of our research group applicable, considering that the most investigated areas are production, operation, and logistics. As we saw from our student of the line of research, the most research topics are production manager, supply chain manager and logistics, and operation research and modeling. So the fourth um, point to discuss is to what extent are the industrial engineering skill of our graduate being applied in industri in industry? All of the above leads of the conclusion that is necessary to retain the type of industrial engineering graduates that we produce as universities. One suggestion I wish to make based on our investigation is that we focus more on researching project manager, which was the least investigated topic in our research groups. As project manager relate to administration and finances, and also to the service sector, a greater emphasis on this topic in our research and curriculum. Work bring the university into closer contact with the business needs of industrial engineers. So this, one, this were the four main points of the discussion. And I would like to know if you have any question to do, is open the discussion with everybody. So if you have any question, please, feel, please also feel free to contact myself or my, or my professor, who is Miguel Ospina. They are our emails. Thank you very much for your attention. Questions from uh, the audience?
Thank you. Um, sorry, my, my name is uh, Clever. Hi, Clever. I am not an industrial engineer. <laughs> um, I come from the metals industry. Meta mineral industry? Metals. Oh, metals, okay. Yes, yes. Um, first of all, thank you for the good presentation. Um, oh, thank I, I would you. like to concur or to um, agree with some of your points, just to give the example of uh, what we're facing in South Africa. It's true. It, for me, it's a contradiction that um, industrial engineers end, end up being employed in administration and finance when, in actual fact, our industries are closing mostly because of inefficiencies that we are facing in industry, especially in our industry. Um, in, in South Africa, I can give you some few states. By 2010, we had about 300 foundries uh, that were operating. We're currently sitting at uh, around 175. So you can see almost half of those uh, 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 industries have closed. And most of, most of the, the reason that we see is, is competition and inefficiencies and also the cost of production that is, in the, it's, is faced by this industry. But we don't actually see this industry wanting to get help from industrial engineers. I don't know whether it's the part of the fault is on the industrial engineering um, uh, sector or it's on the, on the industry. Uh, but I wanted to just to say to you, it's, it's, we're also facing the same, same problem in, in South Africa as well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for, for your interview. Yes, it's, I guess it's the same problem that we have. Uh, we, we don't know what we industrial engineers do, right? So we have to be clearly what is our focus and also be clear to our partner and industry sector. So I, I suggest that uh, in every city or country, we have to do something similar to be clear what are we going to research, uh, what is the needs of different kind of uh, enterprises and business needs. political management? Your economic growth uh, and how is your political management in Colombia? How is our political manager, Santos yeah. Political? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's no easy to answer that kind of question about political, but we, we also have a really good economic growth in Colombia, uh, especially in, this, in the capital of Colombia. So we are in Bogota, so we can see a really interesting uh, relationship with the, with, the, with the politics, with the academic, uh, with the uh, industrial sector. We also uh, make together and do different kind of work, uh, improving the social needs that we need. But in the small cities like Bucaramanga is no one of the one of the bigger, so it's no easy to to have so, some kind of help from the government in politics. Okay, thank you very much for everybody.